actually I just want to chime in on what you've just said because the quote is if you don't stand for something you'll fall for That's anything yes. mm -hmm. um, but then um, just to bring back to what you had talked about Jones about um, Trump was a reflection of the people he was able to bring out specific fears that the American people are going through why can't we say that about Raila as well the population that he has behind him perhaps he's, a, he's bringing out feelings that a majority of the population feel or a large number of the population feel how come for trump we can say that it has worked in his aspect but then for raila all of a sudden he's viewed as a thorn in the flesh when it comes to politics and and these are conversations that we honestly need to have and these are the things that i believe as a country we do not come face to face with why would he have the basis or the premise to be able to have such you know such perspectives but then we simply look at somebody who is coming in and disrupting the political ambience he's a nuisance and we just want him to retire he's old he needs to go but we are not looking at his argument and why perhaps people are following him because I have been in town before and Raila was actually going to the Supreme Court and out of nowhere supporters streamed in I mean it is amazing the amount of support that he has. So you'd wonder, why does he have so much of this support? And he is identifying with these people. And we cannot continue to live that it is insignificant. These are human beings. These are Kenyans. And we need to come to the fact that, yes, if people feel this way, it is all about perception. You cannot come and tell somebody what you're feeling it shouldn't be important. It does not matter. We cannot. So how then do we get that middle ground where my thoughts and your thoughts may be different, but we're still friends? I believe we need to listen because even as much as we have one side saying things need to stop without justice, they're talking about credibility and they're screaming about it. But we have another side that's saying what you're saying is nonsense. You need to mute down. We need to move on. What we need to have is actually a conversation because we have people shouting and we have another side that doesn't want to listen. Okay.